Um, once that is downloaded, I'm just going to cancel this because I've already got it installed. So uh, once it is downloaded, what you want to do is you want to uh, run through the installation process. Um, hopefully you won't get any errors. If you do get any errors, go on to XAMPP um, and see if you can find any support. Follow the instructions for installation. Um, and once you've installed, um, we're going to get to the point that I'm going to talk to you now in the video. So uh, if you'd like to pause the video or, uh, or close whatever, um, install XAMPP and um, we're going to go ahead and test everything. Okay, so hopefully now you have XAMPP installed. Um, I haven't talked to you about what we're going to do next, but what we're actually going to do is we're going to open up something called the XAMPP control panel application. Now, what or the XAMPP control panel? Now, what this is is it's a control panel for your uh, services that are included with XAMPP. I'm not sure what version of XAMPP I'm running at the moment, uh, but it is a slightly older version. So, depending on when you've completed the installation, um, this video was recorded 2011. So, depending on when you're viewing this video, uh, your control panel may look a bit different. But nevertheless, control panel is available from uh, your programs menu within Windows. So open this up and what you want to do is you want to make sure Apache and MySQL are running. For most cases you're going to be using, uh, well for all cases you're going to be using Apache but for some tutorials and for database usage you're going to be using MySQL. So make sure that these two are running. If they're not running they'll look something like this. Yeah okay, oh so they're going to look like something like that and uh, to start them you're just going to simply click start and vice versa if you need to stop them for any reason uh, just click stop so now that they're both running um, we see here Apache started port 80 and MySQL started port 3306 now to access um, um, Apache and the files that you're going to be creating in PHP uh, this is pretty simple with MySQL you're going to be using a, a web application called PHP my admin admin and this is bundled with XAMPP. Now, PHP, well, MySQL for a starter is a database system. You may have heard of it. If you haven't already heard of it, go to Google, read up about it, see what it's about. You don't need to download it because obviously um, what we can see here is bundled with XAMPP already. So the first thing we want to do is we want to test if our web server is active. Now, you're not going to be typing any uh, domains in here or anything else. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be typing localhost. Okay, so it's just it's just simply localhost. So if we press enter, hopefully you'll get this screen up. So if you have uh, got this screen up, then uh, it's got a little congratulations message. You've successfully installed XAMPP on this server, on this system. So this will mean that uh, XAMPP is installed. Now you can also access it using uh, 127.0.0.1. Uh, it's entirely up to you, but I prefer localhost personally, and that's what I'm going to be using throughout my tutorials. Now you see at the side here you've got things like status, security, the documentation, PHP, .in, PHP info function which is going to give you information uh, about your uh, PHP installation. I do have a tutorial separate on this so go ahead and watch that if you want to learn more. Uh, you've also got some demos here which we're not going to really be discussing. So now that we've got XAMPP uh, successfully installed, we want to start running our own uh, file. So we want to start running, creating a PHP file and, uh, and running uh, this file. Um, so we're going to deal with that in the next part of the tutorial. This one's just about installing XAMPP. Now um, we all, we need to um, now have a look at PHP My Admin, and what PHP My Admin is is uh, the administration for your database. Uh, there are tutorials that will take you through this, so you just need to know that you can access it via this link down here, and you can see that the address is 127.0.0.1/phpmyadmin, or as we looked at before, uh, localhost forward slash phpmyadmin. Okay, so that works as well. So hopefully now you've got XAMPP up and running. Uh, the next tutorial in the series is going to talk you through how to create your file and where we're going to find uh, the place to uh, put our file uh, to make it uh, accessible uh, through our now local web server. So we're going to be looking at creating a file in the next tutorial um, and displaying it um, with the local host address.